We're live. Live. Yes. Hi. Welcome to Tuesday's Live. We are back um, with a seemingly easy one today. Seemingly. Seemingly. Yes, seemingly. Um, so the story behind this is one of my friends who's a young fit firefighter. Him and his station did it together the other day. Um, it's five push-ups, 10 sit-ups, 15 air squats. And he complained for like a week at how sore he was, how sore his quads were. So I say that because they did it for 20 minutes and we're only going to be doing it for half of that amount of time because I've done workouts like this before and um, they just seem like they take forever. So we're only going to be doing 10 minutes of it today, but don't let it fool you. Air squats, they will get you sore. Okay. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. Five, 10, 15. Five push-ups any way that you want. I'm doing them on dumbbells. Feels better on my shoulder. Uh, modify them. If you're not doing good push-ups, I would rather you modify them. Okay? Even if your pride is hurt a little bit, that's completely fine because it's not going to do you any good to um, do them incorrectly. So make sure that that chest touches. Keep those elbows in. Keep those hips up. Stay nice and tight. And if you need to, drop down to your knees. Just make sure that you're still doing them good, even if you drop down to your knees. Yeah. Another option is to do them on a bench or something elevated like this, where you can do an elevated push-up to where um, you're not having to go down as low. Your body angle is up a little bit, so it makes it a little bit easier. Okay? So, five push-ups, ten sit-ups, standard sit-ups like we usually do. Um, we're using an ab mat so we don't get those butt strawberries. I know that either you know what I'm talking about or else you're like, I have no idea what she's talking about. And if that's the case, then congratulations, because that probably means that you got some meat on your cheeks. That's a good thing. Cheeks, that's, a great, that's a great thing. I want those meaty cheeks. Um, some of us just have to work harder for them. As opposed to other people who are just, just have them. Okay. <laughs> Um, last thing that we're doing is 15 air squats. Air squats, been over them a numerous times, a numerous times, numerous times. Uh, main thing is keep your chest up, drive those knees out, and get below parallel, okay? If you're noticing that you're kind of punching over, you can't get below parallel, if your form looks shoddy, then that's fine, just don't go as low. But if your mobility, flexibility um, lets you do it, then that's the way you should be doing it is going below parallel. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for today. Some of you guys, um, I know that this is your wheelhouse. I've talked to you on Instagram. I know you're gonna fly through this. Um, I'm not a huge body weight fan, like moving body weight around. I don't no. know, it's just, I don't know, it's just not my jam. But we're gonna make it our jam today. Super easy workout to do on your own anywhere, on an airplane, in a hotel room, wherever you're at. You can do it pretty much anywhere. If you're on an airplane, please let us know. <laughs> you, I know some of you worked out on the airplane before. Oh, yeah. Can we see? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. It can be done. A question in front of the people. So, regular push ups, I can do them, but they're not easy. Knee push ups are too easy. Mm -hmm. What is a middle ground push -up? That's a great question. Okay. So, you have two options. Either start off doing regular until you feel like you can't do them anymore, mm -hmm. okay, or your form starts to go. And then drop the knees. And then drop the knees, or even, even do three and two. If you know that you can maintain three, but five is a little questionable, I would do three, drop down, do the other two. That way you can maintain the three throughout the rest of the workout. Okay. My assumption is that this is basically going to turn into an EMOM. I think five, 10, 15, you're probably going to be able to knock out around a minute and sustain that. Um, that's my guess. I don't know. My friend at the station did 24 and 20 minutes, but... <laughs> That's not really a good gauge to go off of. Um, no offense, but he's a freaking issue. Yeah, so if he can do 24 in 20 minutes, then I'm convinced we can do 10 in 10 minutes. That's our goal for today. Okay? All right. Um, let's get started and knock this out. That's 10 minutes started. worth of work. That's all we got today. Hey, I would like to see y'all's comments, how many rounds you have, how many rounds you get. So keep track of your rounds. Oh, are we going to keep track of ours?
Okay. Yeah, my quads. Air squats. That's all it takes. I'm kidding. Is that the big part of it? Oh, all right. So we, I think, ended up getting 11, almost 12, like a few reps short of 12. So, I mean, 20 minutes. If we would have kept that pace, we could have done 24 in 20 minutes. But I feel like I could have kept going on. I don't think I would have kept that pace. I don't know, but I think it's fun. My quads would have slowed down. Uh, all right. That's it for today. I really do want to know how many rounds you guys got. Especially those of you who can fly through these movements. You know who you are. If I would have done RX, I would have got like five rounds. Because push-ups are not my friend. <sighs> push-ups are rough. They're hard. Yeah. Great job, guys. Send me your comments. Um, send me any questions or feedback. I love to hear from you guys. It was great working out with y'all on Tuesday. We'll be back on Thursday. Until then, man, stay healthy, keep hydrated, eat a lot of food. Yes. And we'll check you next time. See ya.